And so it begins. Thanksgiving is over. The detente has expired. And the 1,688th annual war on Christmas is officially underway. Now, of course, the beginning of the Christmas season is a bit of a floating target. You can make an argument that it begins on November 1st. Retailers would love to convince you it begins around mid-June, but nobody can deny we're in the thick of it now. Halls are getting decked, trees are going up, stores are getting violent, and most importantly for our purposes here, all caps rants about keeping the Christ in Christmas are out in full fucking force. I saw my first one of those of the year a couple of days ago, actually. An evangelical cousin shared it. Uh, Shared it. It wasn't his literal all caps wall of text. He saw an all caps wall of text rant and found it such a succinct and thoughtful summary of his grievances that he shared it. Um, Now, I'm not going to quote directly from it here because, A, I blocked him. I don't think I could find it again. And, B, my cardiologist hasn't cleared me to quote from sources with that many exclamation marks just yet. But the gist of it was that us non-Christians have no business mucking up their holiday while failing to recognize the supremacy of their Lord and Savior. It's not gift miss. It's not Santa miss. It's motherfucking Christmas. And you will take the Christ out of it over their dead fucking bodies. And as I'm reading through it, I had this wonderful monkey's paw vision of the OP actually getting what they wanted. And let me tell you, it was glorious. Right? Imagine that day. Imagine that Christianity fucking sued us for likeness rights or whatever. And it got to where only people who were willing to embrace the the Christian aspects of the holiday got to celebrate Christmas. Imagine if instead of being a ubiquitous national celebration that completely engulfs the nation for six weeks plus, it turned into a holiday exclusively for those who wanted to celebrate the birth of Jesus. First thing that happens, of course, is that we stop shutting shit down for it. I mean, the whole reason we started officially classifying it as a secular holiday had nothing to do with cheating Jesus out of his reverence, right? It was was because we technically couldn't legally shut down schools and government offices and shit over a religious holiday. What would that pesky separation of church and state? So if we're going to give that all caps rant what it's after, the first thing we have to do is start requiring people to go to school and go to work during their holiday. At the same time, and for the same reason, all the municipal Christmas lights, nativity scenes, and festively decorated trees, they start to disappear. Sure, Christians could still put up lights on their houses, but only about 63% of this country is Christian, so that's less than two-thirds of the houses to begin with. And it's not like all the Christians decorate their houses now. You take away that sort of peer pressure, friendly neighborhood, one-upsmanship aspect, you have to imagine that the number of Christians doing it would dwindle considerably. Gone, too, would be the Christmas sales and the festive decorations at the stores. I mean, sure, some stores would still cater to Christians at Christmas. They are still the majority, after all. But realistically, if the Christians somehow kicked us out of their holiday, some other holiday would step in to pick up the slack. We wouldn't just stop buying each other presents and stuff. We'd just start doing it on a different day or calling them a different thing. So instead of running Christmas sales, the stores would focus on their big New Year sales or Thanksgiving sales or Festivus sales. The point is that if non-Christians left Christmas, we'd take all the non-religious stuff with us. And since the whole fucking point of Christmas, as it stands now anyway, is bringing families together, it's very likely that most Christians would follow along with us. They'd celebrate their increasingly lame Savior's birthday party, sure, but they'd also join in the crowd as it shifted to having office Kwanzaa parties or whatever and buying gifts for the new holiday that picked up the ball that Christmas dropped. Gone would be the Christmas commercials. Right, Because very few companies want to be exclusionary in their advertising. And since the Christmas celebration would be subsumed by some secular holiday, virtually all the corporate behemoths would err on the side of broad appeal. So sure, you go ahead and you fight to keep the Christ in Christmas. Hell, nail him there. He's used to it. And within a generation, your holiday would be as culturally relevant as Ascension Day. And instead of the dreaded happy holidays encroaching on your Merry Christmas, you'd just be greeted by good afternoon. The fact that the secular world has embraced your holiday is the source of all that's good about it. The fact that we can celebrate it without buying into your doctrine is the singular reason it occupies such a privileged place in our culture. And your dumb asses are fighting against that. And you know what? As much as I love Christmas, there's a vindictive threat inside me that kind of hopes you win. (laughs) 